Hello, and welcome to a Let's Play by me, the Gamer Wolf 6 of Morinatsu, the original Koizut. Before we start, if you're interested in playing this game, you can go down to the link in the description where you can download and play it for free. And for a while into the future, when we get to that point, any H game content we're going to run into will be cut from this uh, Let's Play. Because, you know, YouTube policies. But the H game content is already posted on my other websites, aka my Pornhub accounts, which is also Game Rule 6. And with all that in mind, let's start. First name, Dark. Second name, Woof. I almost typed in U instead of O. I guess I have to put that in because reasons. <sighs> it's called summer vacation, but there's nothing to do. Especially when you don't have any hobbies. Guess I'm not doing anything this summer either. What are you talking about? The weather outside is nice today, and you're lying around doing nothing. Anyway, did you do your homework? Of course I did it. Sheesh, it's vacation, and all I'm doing is being lazy. So, did he do it or didn't do it? Oh, that's right. A letter from one of your friends came today. It sounds familiar. A letter? In this age? I didn't know I had a friend like that. This letter was, uh, this was the letter from my old friend. The handwriting was bad, and the sentences were short. Hey, how are you doing? I'm the same as usual. Everyone really wants to see you. Come and visit every once in a while. I'll be waiting. The handwriting was sort of crappy. And they probably should have written more. But it seems sincere. The letter is from my hometown, Minnesota Village. Various things started to surface in my mind. The endless blue sky, and under it, the vast countryside. The sounds of the insects, the murmuring of the streams, the trees rustling in the gentle breeze, and the faces of my childhood friends as we played at until sunset. I never forgot about all those memories. I'm going home. That was yesterday. I immediately contacted my old friend. His phone number had changed, and he sounded a little embarrassed. I left home that very same day. It's about an hour long bus ride to town. Just a little bit more. The window on the bus was cold as to the touch. The same mountain scenery continued on, but I had a feeling we were getting close. Wait, so he lived an hour away from his old village? Why, that isn't very long. Ugh, it's so cold. Why doesn't the bus have AC? Wait, you mean heater? However, my body temperature is the opposite. It's been so long since I've been there, and the, out the inside of my chest is hot and beating fast. I wonder how everyone's doing. I haven't talked to any of them since I moved. Heard they all were going to the same high school. Never really thought of going to see them. I should have visited them earlier. I'm excited to see everyone. I wonder what's going on in town right now. Next town, in the city. Please press the button if you're recording. Yeah, I'm getting off. In just a minute, no, a few seconds, I'll be there. I feel somewhat pleasant, calm, and happy. I'm all embarrassed feeling like this. Hurry, hurry. Can't wait any longer. Slightly late title card. Would you call that a late title card? It's like what? Three minutes? Just as I thought, it was so much better than the city. The fresh air here is delicious. I've become I have completely become a city person. Now then, 
The house should be right around here. Hmm? What? The bushes over there are rustling. Grrrr! Yeah! <laughs> You're falling over for... Uh, what are you falling over for? Your luggage is flying everywhere. Here, I'll pick it up. Tor Heiko? Are you Tor Heiko? What? Have you completely forgotten about me? But back then you were so small. I was taller than you. Ah, I started growing after junior high. I've grown up a lot to now. It's completely outgrown me. I'm a little bothered by this. I heard you were coming today, so I waited here. Hey, you were taking so long. I decided to surprise you. You waited all this time just for me? I wouldn't put it like that. The only way to get here is by bus. Morning, noon, night, there are only three times it comes here. I'm glad, you came, eh, I'm glad your bus came on time today. He's the same as ever. Always energetic. Anyway. Anyway? It's been so long. Get over here, you bastard. Wait, Tor Heiko, you're heavy. It hurts. Be gentle. Tor Heiko gives me a firm hug with his furry striped arms. Back then, he'd have to jump up to hug me. In those days, he was so small and cute. Now, there's this large, strong Tor Heiko hugging me. I. This really hurts. I'm going to die. <laughs> Tor Heiko, go easy on me. Things are a little different since I left. Sorry, I'm just glad to see you. Besides that, everyone's talking about you coming back. We're having a world game party at the Rymon. We have, we had to have one. You need to get over there and start talking to everybody. This is all for the trouble we went through. While I was saying that, he put me in a headlock and started rubbing his fist into my head. Ow, wait, stop. You sent me that letter? No, wait, you sent me that letter, didn't you? You came back faster than I thought. But I'm glad. Well then, come to the welcoming party? No, wait, coming to the welcoming party? There's really a welcoming party? Wow, that sounds great. But I need to say hello to my grandparents put my stuff away. Alright, understood. I'll be there. I'm not taking... I'm not the kind of person who will be late. Right, Raimon. I should probably be okay. Oh, I almost forgot. Give me your cell phone number and email. Ah, I don't have a cell phone. Then... Do you know anyone? Somebody that has one? No one has one. I think the village is out of range. What? I take up my cell phone and check. The antenna has disappeared, and it's indicating I'm outside of range. We're so far out here that most of the villagers don't even have them. Even if we wanted to use them, we couldn't. I know this is a pretty rural area, but you can't even use your cell phone? Just give up. Using it isn't a big deal anyway. I guess there's nothing I can do. Not like I need to use my phone now. So, I'll just go say hi, and put my away my luggage, then go to the Rymon. Okay, party, huh? I wonder if everybody- I wonder if everybody is going. I'm really excited. Nothing has changed at all. Further up the dirt road, it becomes pavement. The town looks just like it did back then. Is there anything that's changed since I left? Have you done anything, or has anything happened? Really, nothing much has happened. Came back is about the only thing. Eh, nothing? Not even something small? A few things here and there. They are all Konosuke's fault. They caused quite an uproar. There was this thing called Village Rejuvenation Project. The number of weird souvenirs increased, but there isn't anything considered big news. Five years have passed, and nothing's changed. 
More importantly, what did Konosuke do? Back then, he was also always causing trouble, but... About the number of souvenirs increasing. I'm interested in that. Oh, he'll be waiting to hear from you. We'll take plenty... Uh, we'll talk plenty at the welcoming party. Well, I gotta get going. Don't be late. Yep, got it. See you at the welcoming party. Just like back then, when we were done playing, we'd go say goodbye here. Nothing has changed. Just Torahiko, Torahiko's figure has grown. Well, I need to get going too. Hello. Hi, come on in, Dark Chan. Please come in. Do you hear Dark Chan has arrived? Grandma, it's been so long. Thanks for letting me stay. Dark? I heard you were coming today. I didn't think you'd be this soon. You decided to visit so suddenly. Wish we could have uh, called earlier. Long time no see, Grandpa. Sorry, it was somewhat of a whim. No, no. There's no need to apologize. No difference between here and your house. So please, make yourself at home. Here. I'll, uh, here, I'll show you to your room. It used to be your father's room. Yep, it was right over there. Here there, uh, here we are. It's old and not very luxurious, but there's a TV and a fan. The food on is in the closet. You can spread it out yourself. If you need to use the phone, it's by the front door. Thank you very much. I need to get going soon. I just heard that my friends are throwing a welcome party. There's no need to make dinner for me. I'll be leaving in just a bit. I was going to make something very nice for you. But there's nothing I can that can be done about that. Now then, just need to sort out my luggage a little, and then it's off to the Rymon. My cell phone is out of range. Now it's useless. Nothing I can do. I'll just put it away in my bag for now. I sit down my bag and put my clothes in the dresser. Phew, it's hot in here. It's a small room, so the electric fan should help. Huh? What? It's not working. Probably because no one's used it in a while. It looks old, so there's probably isn't a spare. I'd ask my grandparents to trade, but that'd be rude. Well, I could, you know, just take it to, like, Konosuke's place, because he's a repair shop, right? Heh, <sighs> guess I'll have to deal with it. Anyway, better get going to the Raimon. I'm leaving. I'll be back soon. Have a good time. It's supposed to be somewhere around the mall. Ah, red paper lanterns. That's gotta be the Raimon. Raimon's the only restaurant in town. Originally, it was just a bar. Except the, for the desk part, there's a lid sitting on the counter. When you remove it, there's an iron plate. You can make... Oko, Nomi, Yaki, and Yaki, Niku. The menu isn't anything too special. It has the stuff you'd expect from a cheap place. Come on in! Hello, um... I wonder if everyone else here is already. I'm guessing you're... The guest of honor? Yeah? The one that's visiting your friends? Today they're renting out the place. Two of them are already back there. <sighs> My best husband owes. Oh, if it isn't Shunkun and Koya. It's been a while, hasn't it? Yo, long time no see. Koya's become more adult like. He's getting more and more handsome too. It's been a while. Why haven't you gotten in touch sooner? You could have done it in your spare time, but I guess it's easier for you. Shinkun's sharp tongue hasn't changed. But that's Shinkun for you. Uh. Plainly? Plainly. Start stating what's on his mind and not holding anything back. Sometimes I can't read words. 
Okay, a lot of times I can't read words. I'm just a woof. Still, just, it's been a while would have been nicer. There's something else you're going to say? About how you're excited to see him? Already been here for two hours, haven't you? You must have already been really good friends. Hey, everybody. Oh, why are you guys so quiet? Dark's back. Get it? Be excited. I was looking forward to a proper greeting, but knowing them, it's better that they're quiet. You're unusually early, uh, Tora Heiko. Of course. Today's a special day. But is renting out the place all right? I don't have much on me. Don't worry about it. We collected enough for today. Making you pay would be rude. Besides, you shouldn't worry about money. Right, Pops? Yep. When, I heard, when you heard he was coming back, you told everybody to pitch in, right? It wasn't a big deal for somebody like you. It was the request of the carpenter's son. There's no way I could refuse. Wait, no way? But I talked with Tatsuni about this. Is that so? Sorry. I feel a little bad about this. I came back so suddenly, and you go and do all this for me. Don't apologize. I'm glad you to do this. That's right. Nothing to apologize to Tora Heiko about. What do you mean by that? I mean exactly what I said. What should I do? The mood's starting to get... kind of negative. Hello, Wolf. It's Dark San. It's been so long. This is Shun-kun, bursting in with a smile. Talk about nice timing. Long time no see, Shun-kun. So, have you been a good boy? I was saying that, I ruffle his messy hair. That's just bellizing! Shun-kun is the cutest little wolf. You're cute! I wanna pet- I wanna waffle with your muffin. Okay, concentrate. Don't let the cuteness distract you. Please stop. Even though he's saying that, you can't stop laughing and wagging his tail. He's so adorable. Dark Sun! Dark Sun! Do you still play video games? Yeah, every once in a while. Then... Would it be okay if we could play? Just like back then? Sure, sounds good. You know, now I feel kind of sad that I... On both my plays, I haven't played video games with Shun-kun. <sighs> I made a cute little waffle muffle. With those sparkling innocent eyes, there's no way I could refuse. We had a good rivalry going on. It was pretty... It was pretty rough. Tough? Yay! I'm so happy! I play with some others, but... They don't play video games as much as I do. Nothing... Uh, doing nothing but playing video games isn't good. You should get outside, too. Tatsuni-san and Koya-san uh, Koya take me out. I get to do stuff with them, so it's okay. Oh, really? Tatsuni, I could see doing that. But Koya? Tatsuki. I know him and Chun-kun get along, but... I didn't think they were they'd do something like that. Shun looks up to Koya-san. Isn't that right, Shun? Shut up. Yeah, he's so cool. I wanna be like him. Do you... even know what you're saying? I'm not getting it either. Of course I do. Must be something between them I don't know. Shun-kun does have a good point, though. Maybe I'm putting too much thought into it. Koya is such a big brother. A nice big brother. Koya Oni-chan. Torahaiko's overdoing it. <laughs> With a merciless sharp thrust, a large arm drills right into Kora, uh, Torahaiko, knocking him flat on the ground. You're being impolite, Tora. That's a rugged mood. Wait, that rugged mood? That large, round body? It's not the, none other than Juichi-san. Since when did he get here? Besides that, uh, was that... 
What was with that attack on Torahaiko? I wonder if he'll be alright. Oh, Dark. It's nice. Uh, how have you been doing? I was wondering if you were coming. Uh, if you were coming today. What is up with my reading? <sighs> woof. Sorry. I'm not great at reading. I'm just a woof. Just got pows and woof abilities. Long time no see, Juji san and Koyuji senpai. I'm doing fine. Looks like you're doing well. I had a club meeting today, but I was able to make it on time. Juji's still doing judo? Huh. It looks even bigger than before. I was afraid the three of us would be late. Oh, that's right. There's somebody I need to introduce you to. Meet my junior in the soccer club and a fellow classmate, Sotaru. I'm a first year student in high school. Uh, Sotaru Tuno, how'd you do? I heard all about you from Takahara Senpai. Pleased to meet ya. I'm Dark Wiff. Nice to meet you, Sotaru Kun. Uh, Koichi Senpai is still playing soccer. He even has a junior now. He was popular with the girls, and was always very helpful. I'm certain he had many admirers. And Sotaro kun it's always nice to see a new face. He looks very athletic. I was talking to Taro about today. He said he wants to come along. I told him about you and everyone else. I've heard a lot about you. I wonder exactly what he's been told. Yo! Oh, Dark! I've missed you so much. Look at you. Your height hasn't changed. Are you sure you've been eating right? <laughs> this huge guy is Tatsuni. You're looking good, Tatsuni. Even though it might not look like it, I have grown. Tatsuni, you're slow. I was getting tired of waiting. My bad. I tried to get here as soon as possible, but I couldn't get away from work. Oh, you have a job? Yep, after graduating high school, I've become an apprentice at home. I could have done it after junior high, but I want to finish high school. So Tatsuni's already working. He's always wanted to be a craftsman, even as a kid. Wow, you're an apprentice carpenter now. By the way, have you not gotten any taller? By his sixth year in school, he's already as tall as an adult. I thought you would be bigger than this. Still, I can't see his face unless I look up. Really, I passed two meters, but you're so small. Eat lots and lots. Don't be too picky. Fill up on meat today. I am actually prefer veggies and fish. Uh, stop talking about food, I'm hungry. I'm trying to lose weight. Also, it's between lunch and dinner. <laughs> yeah, ha, ha. That's surprisingly healthy. But I really have grown. I've got some muscle uh, form from doing physical labor. Though, my stomach has... it. It's different for me. When dragons become adults, their bellies start to show. Wait, me or him? Don't... Wait. My stomach has ballooned? Or his stomach's ballooned? I thought we were talking about him. Because he's doing physical labor. Maybe grammar thing? I don't know. I'm not fat. Just fluffy. I swear. Tatuni's such a glutton. Besides, you can get fat at any age. Dark. Fill his belly. Poke, poke. Poke, poke, huh? Stop poking me. Anyway, is everyone here? Uh, gutter. Uh, he isn't here yet, is he? Nope, of course. Uh, he's gonna be late today. I wasn't expecting him to come early. He should have. He should have told. Uh, he w was told when we were meeting, but it's already been 30 minutes. I was looking forward to seeing him. I heard he was just talking about the city. He likes talking about the city. This doesn't sound good. Half an hour late isn't too bad for him. The other day, he showed up right when we were all saying goodbye. 
He shouldn't have forgotten about this. Probably. Hello! Everyone got here early, didn't they? Yo, Dark, is that you? Long time no see. We've already got been here for a while, Konosuke. But I just got here. Ed, but I got here just on time. Why am I saying words before I'm reading them? Oh, good lord. Not good first persons. Uh, but I got here just on time. Everyone's here now, so I'd say it's a good time to show up. Huh, you don't say. Well, uh, all that matters is that you're... is that you tried. Uh-huh. But more important, Dark, what's it like living in the city? I'm so jealous of you, city dweller. Could I come visit sometime? Of course, you'd have to give me a tour. Anything new going on there? Anything weird happen? I want to hear all about it. Well, there was this one guy from the Yakuza who was hitting everybody with bikes. Er, wait a minute. Calm down, Konosuke. I know you're excited, but you're being kind of obnoxious. Dark just got here. Give him some time to relax, okay? Oh, alright. Sorry. But you have to tell me, uh, tell me about it sometime. Yeah, I will. Konosuke is still living in his own pace. Looks like he's getting even worse, too. I don't hate talking to him, but if he wants to hear about the city, he'll have to buy me a souvenir. Now that everybody's here, we should get started soon. Finally! Toro, don't uh, tell me you just came for the food. Eh, that's not what I meant. You two are like a married couple from a sitcom. Let's just sit now. We do seem like a husband and wife, don't we, Toru? Husband and wife? You guys are so gay for each other. You just need to get a room. Toru, don't take him too seriously. Come on, let's get started. Let's get some service here, Pops. I want non sup meat and drinks. You're the Myuri son, of course you want drinks. That's almost all you guys even ask for. I know, I know. Now give it to me, straight from the barrel. It doesn't concern me, but... I don't think miners are allowed to drink. It'd be better if we didn't drink. Even if we did, Tatsuni would down most of it. Will Tatsuni be allowed to drink? Tatsuni sure drinks a lot of sake. Oh, it's no problem. Dragons have a much higher alcohol tolerance, so the law's a little different for them. I don't think that's how things go. Or supposed to go. It'll be alright if Tatsuni-san drinks. But it already looks as if he's been drinking for a while. What? Can a man drink in peace? Come on, sit down already. Hey, Dark. Sit over here. It's not like I have to sit next uh, with you. Wait, I have to go to the bathroom. <laughs> nice save, Dark. What's that? Fine then, I'll just sit next to Tora. Ah, has, at least somebody wants to sit next to Tora Haiko-san. Uh, no thank you. Excuse me, I'll be back in a bit. <laughs> Weren't you ever taught to go before you went out somewhere? Move it, Shin-kun. Wow, I'm getting kind of embarrassed. I've been only here for a few hours. It feels like I've been here all day. When I get back, the party's going to begin. It's hectic, but uh, I miss the, this atmosphere. Wasn't every day like back then like this? My memories are so vague. They might not even be too accurate, I guess. Oh boy. This is going to be a busy summer. I feel better. Now, I'm ready. Oh. <coughs> That's weird. Everyone's already taken seats. I wonder who has an empty spot. 
So for people who haven't played this before, whoever you sit next to basically dictates who you're gonna be uh, romancing throughout the entire series. So let's see, Koya. Best husky husband all. When I look around, I see an open slot next to Koya. I want to talk to him, so I sit uh, so I sit there. Is it right if I sit here? Oh, go ahead. Thanks, excuse me. I lower my waist and sit down. While doing this, that, however, I can hear Tor Heiko's voice. Dark, what are you doing? Next to Koya? Huh? Do you have a problem? No, nothing in particular. What, are you jealous? Look at Koya's slight smile. Koya mocks him with a faint sneer. Tor Heiko struggles to find his words. His face turns a little red, somehow because of her. Oh, it, it's not like that. Uh, what are you so upset about, Tora? Next to me is fine. As he says that, he puts his hands on Tora Heiko's shoulders. Oh, that's why Tora Heiko said that. He invited me to sit next to him first. Did I do something wrong? Nah, it's never fun sitting next to you, Georgie. So, well, well, I just slipped out. Ugh, God. Wait, I give up. Sorry. Dora Aiko, pain cries echo. Looks like Juji sent his Titan's grip. His seat is in a short distance away, but I can see those fingers digging into him. I can s almost hear it. Juji san did say that he's still doing judo. That must be where his, grips is, his grip is from. All I can hear is Tora Haiko screaming. Ouch. Watching that makes me sore. Don't know why you need to sit next to Dark, but don't say such heartless things. Why have to be so heartless, heartless? <sighs> Can't remember the rest of that song. Now, uh, do you have a problem with me? Uh, no, not at all. I in fact, I would really like, I'd be really thankful, right? Good. Finally, Jochi san releases Tora Haiko. I thought my collarbone was gonna. Tora Haiko mumbles as he rubs his shoulders. His face has gone from red to pale. What should I say? Sorry, Tora Haiko. Hey, playing around is fine, but control it. Let's start. Dark's returned. Pops, I want to order something. Yeah, what do you want? At the sound of Tatsuni's voice, things get got moving along. The old man comes out and bring and begins to take her orders. I will just ask for some oolong tea. I think it'd be it'd take a while for things to come, but because we rented out the place, our drinks were brought us to us immediately. The food, that is to say, the yaki naku has already been prepared. It was brought out with it the drinks, and with that, the preparations are complete. Tor Heiko stands to check things out. Because the soldiers are so sore, uh, he gives a small grimace. He seems to have covered a bit. It wasn't too serious, but I'm still relieved. He coughs once to clear his throat. The noisy restaurant quiets down. At least, uh, it's beginning. Alright then, did everyone get a drink? Yeah! Good, good. Let's get this party started. After five years, let's pick up right where we left off. Let's have fun, everybody. Tora, stop talking already. Click. <laughs> uh, Tatsuni causes everybody to laugh. Even Tora Haiku gives an embarrassed giggle. I have to say, I miss this atmosphere. Shut up. I don't have anything else to say. Just get started already. <clears throat> First, I'd like to... It'd be nice to hear a greeting. A greeting from our honored guest, Dark. So then, Dark. I ask you to make, uh, to make it the toast. I'm leaving it to you. What? I didn't see this coming. Did I hear him correctly? Still, everyone looks at me. They turn in anticipation, expecting me to say something. Are... Are they gonna... Are they getting up on me? Um... 
Well, I stand up and attempt to, to overcome the pressure. However, I suddenly struggle with my words. We're all friends, but I'm still nervous. What do I do? Face turns is turning white. Dark, you can do it. Look to my side. I can see Koya calling out to me, smiling gently. Because of that, my tension eases a little. Er, uh, it, it's been a long time. But I have to say, I'm glad to be back like this. The hell, Dark? We're your friends. Yeah, you're being too shy. Voices from everywhere rise up. It's kind of embarrassing, but more than that, I'm happy. Thanks. I'm not very good at er, saying these kinds of things. But thanks for everything, guys. Well then, to our reunion. Cheers. Cheers. And with that, the peaceful hustle and bustle returns. There aren't many other customers, but we're uh, enough to keep it busy. <sighs> Sounds of joyous laughter, the sound of roasting meat, hearing them makes my nervousness dissipate. Getting tired from the crowd, I sit back down. Nice job. That's quite the greeting. He still has that smile from earlier. I'd say thanks, Koya. Oh, thanks. It was surprising. I wasn't expecting Tora Heiko to put me on the spot like that. It was weird. I got really nervous. You look like you're frozen solid. Well, you gotta expect an unexpected so the unexpected sometimes. Eh, sorry about that. My face was beginning to turn white. Eh, <sighs> but because of you, I was able to get back on track. Thanks. It would have been awful if I didn't. Whoa, thanks for the gratitude. Anyway, it's been a while, th uh, Dark. You seem to be doing well. I was saying that Koi gives a light pat on my shoulder. You too. Actually, everyone seems to be doing well. Uh, I think that's my line. You never contacted us. Weren't you ever concerned? Oh yeah, <laughs> sorry about that. Well, uh, now you'll be able to see just how everyone's doing. So dark, you seem to have grown. You think so? Not long after I moved, I started to get taller. You have too, haven't you? You're taller than me, and you seem to be even more mature. You're always so cool. Thanks. A little bit of flattery is never bad. He says while giving a, me a smile. Well, I didn't mean it like that. When he says that thanks to me, I feel a little embarrassed. My face is turning red. On the other hand, he's so nonchalant. The more I think about it, the more I feel stuck. <sighs> this is really embarrassing. Anyway, what have you been up to? Like club activities or something? I changed the subject quickly to conceal my humiliation. Because I left after junior high, I had no idea what everyone's up to. So I feel so I was a little interested. Nope, I don't do clubs. I'm in a band. Oh, really? What do you do? Vocals? No, I only do that occasionally. I mainly play the guitar. Wow, that's amazing. I'm no good with music. I have to confess, I am jealous. Even if I could play the one instrument, I'd be satisfied. I, on the other hand, can play the steel drums, or at least used to. Yeah, it's pretty nice. I know. Uh, I know you want lessons. No, wait, you want lessons sometimes? Eh? Uh, would that be alright? Sure. If you're interested, let's talk. With those words, Koi gives me a smile. Uh, it's as if he's confirming my determination, saying, What will you do? Without any thought, I already know an answer. I don't have any uh, reason to refuse. And more importantly, it sounds fun. That's enough for me. Well, if I get the opportunity, I'll take up on that offer. If it's not too much trouble, I'd also like to hear you play sometime. Ah, I don't mind at all. Actually, I'm going to be playing live, so you uh, could come if you want. You're playing live? That sounds like a big deal. I'm aiming for it to be uh, my debut, 
so it's a pretty big deal. I can get you a ticket if you want. Yeah, I'd love to go. I'm looking forward to it. I'll be expecting you then. Well, enough about that. Look, uh, the meat's starting to burn around here. <sighs> meat. As he says that, he serves me a plate of food. Oh, sorry, Koya. Thanks. Eat all you want. Today's your welcoming party, after all. Or are you going to hold back? Koya's grin made me feel a little warm. It was a nostalgic feeling I had forgotten. Yeah. Let's eat right away. Thanks for the food. I pick up my chopsticks and begin. It's been a long time since I've eaten here. The taste is was also a nostalgic feeling. <sighs> My stomach's full. Can't eat another bite. I ate and ate. It was just meat, but there was also a lot, and then there was also dessert. Well, it looks like it, this looks like a good time to wrap things up. Uh -huh. No, yeah. Uh huh. I had a lot of fun today. Oh, Sean, you're so cute, you muffin. Yeah, it was nice to see you guys after such a long time. Today isn't the only day you're having fun. You're here all summer vacation, so let's have meet every single day. Meet every single day. It's a figure of speech. A figure of speech. Whoa. We played every day back then. We liked to play baseball, go fishing, and do things like have a game of tag. That's right, why don't we have a game of tag sometime? Even better, we could do it all day long. We could call it a 24 hour tag endurance run. 24 hour game of tag? All day? Yep, I think it's worth a try. It won't be over the until everybody's caught. I think we're a little too old to be playing tag. That's it's ridiculous. Don't say that. It could be fun. You aren't allowed to have any use any vehicles, and you could hide anywhere in Minnesota. Do those sound like good rules? It's weird that we talk about this, but none of us go play tag. If that's the case, the area on my house should be the boundary. Then it should be good to hide in my house. However, that would make things too simple and easy. Those two are just complaining, and now they're eager to join in. But wouldn't it be troublesome to do that all day in the middle of summer? That's not very realistic. It's summer, so we shouldn't. No, wait, shouldn't we do? So we shouldn't. So we shouldn't. We do. So it's not just me that can't read, it's translation stuff. I mean, to the credit, they did well, but sometimes it's like, so we shouldn't, we do. Uh, something summer... Oh. So I guess it's better in... Con English! Why are you so hard? Before Doxan moved, we would go bug catching or fishing. Shunkin's holding a bug catching net and wearing a straw hat. That would be suitable for him. But that's not really something a high school student sh would do. No, that's a little... Hmm, something summerish. How about we all go to the beach? That sounds great. Konosuke suggested something normal for once. That's rare. What? I'm always normal. A 24-hour game of tag sounds pretty stupid. What? I don't think... That sounded so bad. Hmm? Juchi? Did you say something? No, it's nothing. So then, the next thing to do is to go to the beach. I have to work, and you guys are busy, so it would be convenient to, to go on everybody's next day off. We'll work out the details eventually. Alright, we'll try that. I agree. The beach, huh? I've got a bathing suit. Woof, I'm excited. So it's decided. We'll have just one last thing to do before the we end the day. What do you mean? 
One, two. Welcome home, Dark. Ah, uh, I've already come back to Minnesota Village. It's my friends who are so warm. I'm back, everyone. Thanks for today. I was born and raised in this village, and I met everyone here, too. It feels really great. <laughs> Don't cry. Yeah, I'm not crying. Things have gotten sappy here, but next time we meet is at the beach. We'll be excited. Don't forget. But you're the best at forgetting things. Shin, don't say such things. <laughs> the next month, I'll be in Minnesota Village with everyone. Not only are we going to stay at the beach, I'm sure there are plenty of other things in store. It's on my chest. My heart is like an album. When I open it, my memories shine like brilliant jewels. There, I can make a new page. This year's summer, uh, this year's summer only happens once. So, I'll enjoy it as much as I can. <sighs> Sorry about me not being able to read. Sometimes I read well, and the other times it's like, English, I can't read it. I'm like that one guy from that one game that I keep on referencing where you start the game, and he's illiterate. And I mean actually illiterate. You have to learn how to read in that game. <sighs> eh, I get good days and bad games, days when reading and speaking. So anyways, that's going to be the end of this Let's Play. I'd like to thank you all for watching. Please comment, because like comments, tell me you like, dislike, tips, tricks, otherwise. If you like my YouTube and like to see it grow, then please like, subscribe, and check out other videos that help it grow. And please remember to spay and or neuter your animals to help control the pet population. And also, if you want to play this game, you can go down to the link in the description where you can download and play it for free. And also, because YouTube, we're going to be skipping over the age content. But for Koya's Root, all of it is already posted on the other website. So nice, thank you all for watching, and until next time, I'll let's play by me, the game of Wolf of six of Morinatsu, the original Koya's Roots. Thanks, and see ya.